Howdy y'all. We are back at Guadalupe by my place. I got the poles out as you can see back there. That's some big cut shad on them. I'm, I'm kind of doing this video in reverse. I'm going to show you clips of a video I did the other day that was totally unsuccessful. I was trying to do a cast net and cook, trying to get some tilapia or something like that. Absolutely didn't happen, but I ended up with some really big shad. I got them as cut bait. I've already had the bow out. I've already had the camera on. I've got a tilapia. I shot him, missed a couple, but we're going to do a catch and cook on the tilapia. I've already got him cleaned up. He's in the cooler. I got footage of it all, and we're going to take him home, and I'm going to try something that I've never tried with him. I've tried it with other fish, but I've never tried it with tilapia. I'm actually pretty excited about it, so stay tuned. Stick with me. We're going to hang out down here a little bit more. I'm probably going to see if I can get one more. But we got the poles out. If anything other than me walking the bank, I brought my float. It's 96 degrees out here at like 6, 630. The reel feels like 106. So it's hot. So if I don't start catching something pretty soon or shooting something pretty soon, I'm just going to put my butt in the water and float for a little while. And then we're going to go home and we're going to make some dinner. Stick with me. Also, for the record, legend has it that a fella came down here not too long ago. He caught a 53-pound blue right here on Cut Chad. And I ain't saying legend is always correct, but legend will make you want to try. So... There's the two 53-pound blues right there. Two rods with cut shad on them. That should be 106 pounds of catfish. I'm getting ready to reel in here pretty quick. I'll keep you posted. You ever want to try something challenging? Try to go sneak up and cast that at tilapia. There's something right here. Oh. Sorry, buddy. You are definitely not what we wanted. Got a little bass. He's going back. See ya. Nothing. Another big shad. Still not what I want, but we'll keep him. He can go in the bag over there. Oh, that was so 
close. There's another one. What's he doing? Just chilling at the surface. Obviously, the arrow can get to him quicker than the net can. Maybe we'll get some luck with this if I learn how to use it. Got him on the move. <sighs> All right. You know, one of the greatest things about living in water like this is it gives you the ability to immediately start processing your catch, which is so important when you're trying to keep it fresh. You don't want to leave fish in a bucket of warm water for three hours before you finally fillet them out. They just, it's not going to be as good. I mean, this guy, I shot him with the arrow here. Uh, I had a pellet gun in my truck, so I just put a pellet in his head right there. And he immediately was dispatched. He's dead in a doornail. And he's probably been dead for four minutes and I'm getting ready to take sides off of him. Which just means that that meat is gonna be as good as you can possibly get. The thing about tilapia, they're not hard to clean. But the problem is, as their scales, I mean, the closest thing I can relate those to is almost like a redfish. I mean, their scales are no joke. Start in behind the fin. Come in here behind the head like so. Turn your knife around. If you got a really sharp knife, you can just slide it right down his back. Just gonna follow that backbone all the way back up. Go down through the tail. out the bottom work it back up now normally what I like to do is try to come up and over the ribs you can see where I start working the meat up and over that's all rib bone there so I just kind of tilt my knife blade up work it over the top Gotta watch out for the vicious dragonflies out here. And see, they ain't getting nothing in that, but ribs. You can cut all that out. This water. Rinse that fillet off. Again, this is sad, it's got the hole in him, so it ain't gonna be as pretty as it could be, but pull that fin back. I like to put my finger in her eye socket to get a hold of them. Go all the way down, turn that knife over, and you're just gonna follow down his backbone. All the way down till you can go across. And out the other side. Just 
follow that backbone down start going up and over these rib bones up and over and back down let's say you gotta watch out fins on these tilapia they are insane Wrench your board off, wrench your knife off. Take that outer skin off. And that's what you're left with. There's some ribs on it right here. Not bad for taking an invasive species out. Looks like we got a taker on the cut shad. He ain't doing much though. It might be a turtle. Notorious for turtles down here. See if there's anything left, we'll get it back out there. Had two baits out earlier, pulled them in. Well, nothing on either. Oh, look at that. Yeah, they have been slowly. Look, just eating that up. It's got to be turtles. All right, we are back. We're in the kitchen. I've got the fish, and I'm about to make it. And this took way longer than what I thought it was going to take, so I'm not going to lie, I'm taking some shortcuts. Normally, I'm a big fan of doing everything fresh, but... Probably not tonight because I got to work tomorrow and I don't want to be up all night. So we're going to take the cheater way out, but it is what it is. So first thing we're going to do, we got some aluminum foil laid down here. One for each filet. I'm going to hit it with a little, little pam here real quick. Just a little non-stick on there. And then we're going to lay each filet right in the middle okay we got our two fillets there in the middle and we're gonna put a couple little pats of butter on them everybody likes butter especially on fish so we're gonna butter these guys up put some butter on this guy right here right here I'm about to hit them. Well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put this, the vegetables on there first. Now I'm gonna put some, I love mushrooms. So we're gonna put mushrooms in here. And we're gonna put mushrooms in this one right here. And we're gonna wrap all this up so they don't have to be exactly stacked on top of each other. But you just gotta get all the good stuff in there that you love. Now, normally, I would have my own onions and peppers and all that good stuff but like i said i'm i'm running low on time so we get to got the seasoning blend it's a pick sweet seasoning blend it's got everything in it it's got onions and peppers and a couple other things all the way all ready to go so we just gonna take some handfuls like this right here and we just gonna put it on top mm. and we're gonna put a lot because i ain't scared I love all this stuff. And we're going to do the same thing for this one. It's hard to film and cook at the same time. I'm going to have to do something about this. Alright. Now we got all that in there. Now we're going to hit it. A little Louisiana Cajun seasoning. You can't never go wrong. Ever. You can do Tony's, if you like Tony's Saturies, do Creole seasoning. Just gonna put that on there. Last but not least, I actually love cilantro. I know that's not supposed to go together, but you know what? We're gonna throw that in there too, just to see if we can give it a little bit of that flavor. And next, 
we gonna wrap these puppies up I got the grill going already gonna wrap them up real tight take them out there we're gonna put them on the grill all right we out here we got the grill at about 350 375 something like that I'm gonna put these puppies on here it will not take very long now we got them on the grill we're gonna give it about 15 20 minutes let them do the thing uh, let it get good and cooked and then in the meantime I've got some of that steamable risotto which I didn't know nothing about risotto before I moved here into Texas and I watched another video somebody made some some food and they put it on risotto and I was like I don't even know what risotto is I tried it it's delicious so I'm gonna get these uh, after they're done cooking we're gonna take them out of the foil with all the veggies and the butter sauce and all that and we're gonna put them on a bed of risotto I'm talking good so I don't know how to make risotto personally that's probably something I need to learn since I like it but they got the steamable stuff you can just get the bag for like two dollars you stick it in the microwave for five minutes you ready to go so that's what we doing all right y'all took it off the grill that's the finished product there we got the other one here we've got the creamy risotto right there i'm gonna plate this up i'm gonna put the camera down so i can use my other hand because i don't want to get burnt but i will have something for you all very soon there it is the risotto got the fish got the veggies got the butter sauce all put together super simple super easy we went down and caught it where well, we bow fished it and cleaned it in the river now it's on a plate we're getting ready to eat thanks for watching hope you enjoyed we'll see you next video y'all good night